Hey guys, I'm Jason. And I'm Tess. And welcome back to another episode of Small Talk Arkansas. We're back at our kitchen table. We are. What are we doing here? Still a coronation, but, but we're back at the well at the kitchen table. Well, we're not on the road today. No, we're not. So guys, we do owe you some some footage. We haven't been putting up as many videos as we were. Um, we've got a lot of footage that we've got saved up that we're going to go back to you. If you can't tell, um, <laughs> we, we, we've, we're, we've been a little busy. We're pregnant, <laughs> so um, we're, we're you know babies Except coming the, yeah. coming this way. Yeah, it's a, not the COVID nineteen happening here. Yeah, this is not it's the little... COVID extra yeah. five, yeah. 10, the 19, whatever 19 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. It's not no, the COVID-19. Uh -uh. uh -uh. So uh, we got a baby coming the way, we but uh, in the meantime, we're, we're going to tell you, you know, we get asked all the time, um, you know, we travel in the van. Yeah. And when you're off the road, off the beaten path, whether that's in the campground or you're boondocking somewhere just out and about, coffee is, is, where do it's you get coffee in the wilderness? It's hard to come by good coffee. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of crap. We've we've tried we've, a lot. We've of, tried a lot of crap. A lot of crap <laughs> in the van that it's like this is this this is not coffee. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. This no. is not gonna gonna make it through this the day. Is brown water. Yeah. So you know one of the first things when we get up or wake up in the morning and you wake up and you're refreshed, you you know you're ready to get outdoors and do some things. You want you want a good cup of coffee. You need a little pep in your step. So we're gonna to talk to you today. We're gonna to show you how to make three different coffees. Uh, we're gonna make an espresso. Yep. We're gonna make an americano. We are. We're gonna make a flat white. OMG. We're gonna make all those today. These are all things that we carry with us in the van when we travel. Uh -huh. And so we we'll talk a little bit about each one of those, and and you know you can use them at home. Um, you can travel with them. A lot of folks travel with, with this particular AeroPress set that we're going to talk about. But man, if you need good coffee at home, um, pretty inexpensive uh, versus the espresso makers and things that are out there, you can use this exact system at home. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy, and we're going to show you how to do it. Let's do it. All right. So um, first and foremost, let's talk about the AeroPress itself. Yes. This little device right here, this thing sells for about 30 bucks. It, it, it's pretty cool. We'll leave a link in the description for got it below. Got it on Amazon, right? Uh, got it on Amazon. Got a little uh, holder on Amazon too, right? Yeah, this little rack that it's all sitting in. Our water's heating up over here right now, so getting ready. That, but that's what's happening. When you buy the AeroPress, it comes with this little filter thing, this coffee thing. Comes with these uh, spoons and stirrers. And but the, the main key is is, is, is this plastic plunger. Yes. This is what it is. This That's is a good it's the arrow it press. Yeah. And it's it packs up a lot. It's very light. It packs up easy. Can go in your backpack if you're if you're packing out whatever. Again, mm -hmm. um, all you need to make this work is a good coffee and hot water. That's and, it. And you're good. Bam. Comes with the, this top here. You see um, this. This is what comes with it when you buy it. Whoops. I didn't I didn't stick it on there very good, but. Uh, you, you literally just put a little paper filter in here, uh, like this, and you put it on the bottom. Now this has got holes in it, and so the, when you pour water into this, it just kind of becomes a drip yeah. coffee maker. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you are gonna apply some pressure to it like this, and it's gonna shoot through there. We'll make an a, a espresso, right. and we like this. As yes. it is, by it is, this is a very good product. It's a good cup of coffee. It's a good cup of coffee. But we didn't want to keep up with these little, little paper filters. Paper filters everywhere we went. Yeah. Um, and we, we were run out. We were happened? looking for something that also gave us a little more true espresso, right. a little more cream, mm -hmm. um, creme, creme, the creme. So we went the next step and from Fellow, uh, Fellow's a coffee company, we got this attachment called the Prismo. It's a Prismo Aero Press attachment. It's $25. Basically, if you can see this, it's got a, a little... Teeny, tiny little hole. It's got a, a press, you know, you have to apply pressure to get it to shoot through this. So, you know, they, they say this super powers your aero press. It comes with this uh, metal filter. Mm -hmm. The metal filter just drops in there so it's reusable so you don't have to change it out all the time. And that lasts forever. Lasts forever. So basically to make it work, it's the same thing. You're just twisting this, putting it on, lock, locking it in on the bottom. All you need for to, to make good coffee from there is you need a good mug, a sturdy mug for this to work. You're gonna set this right here on top of the mug like that. 
You need coffee. We do need coffee. So we're we using uh, we're, we're using a special blend. Uh, it's a secret blend. It's a secret espresso brand that that Rusty at Trailblazer Roasters Our new buds. made us yesterday. Yes. You guys might not be familiar with uh, Trailblazer Roasting, but um, they are in North Little Rock, yeah. Arkansas. They are Dogtown Original. Started their business up right before kind of the Corona. They're not a coffee shop, guys. They sell online. They sell coffee they are online. Coffee roasters. And, and they sell. So we got so to see their got whole to see, setup got yesterday. To, got to tour the the, the place yesterday. Um, check out some beans. Smells. Amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in there. So with the AeroPress, you get this little scoop. And basically for, for an espresso, for a single shot espresso, you just want one good rounded cup of scoop. Scoop, scoop coffee there. So let's get it in there. Our water has heated. Uh, for the Prismo, the Prismo um, recommends that we use water at 212 degrees. One of the things, once you put your coffee in there, you kind of want to tap it, shake it a little bit, make sure that you've got a good flat bed across mm -hmm. before you pour your water in. Yes. Um, when we pour in the water, you can see on the AeroPress, there's one, two, three, and four. Basically- That's if, how many shots that this can do. Yeah, if you wanted to do four shots of coffee, you put in, or four shots of espresso, you, you put, put in four scoops and you pour the water to four. four. It's really simple bada to bing, use. We're gonna, we're gonna make one shot of espresso we put in one scoop of, of coffee and we're gonna fill the water up in here. With our handy dandy kettle. With the little kettle that we've got, we're just gonna heat, pour this up to, to the one. It's gonna sit there, guys. It's not going anywhere. No coffee's leaking out the bottom because we've got this. Um, our little fellow attachment. We've got the Prismo and, and it does require uh, pressure to get the water to come out of there. So we're gonna leave it. Um, we we want to stir. Seconds. We want to stir for basically 20 seconds. We're gonna make this espresso. We want it to 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 be good and sweet. We want it to have lots of creme. So we're just gonna we're gonna stir here for about 20 seconds. Period. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. peasy. Come back in 20 seconds, yes. and this is done. Oh, I so wish I could smell this. It smells so good. This stir tool comes with uh, the, the AeroPress, so you don't have to buy anything else. It doesn't reach all the way to the bottom, so if you are using the paper filters, it's not going to grab those and, and tear that up, but you just get a good good stir in here. I think that's about 20 I seconds. think that's about right. And it's super easy to clean. Yes, everything's dishwasher safe, but realistically, you'll see in a minute when we get the used puck of coffee, um, out of this, I mean, it comes out very cleanly, and all you have to do is rinse it off, and, and, and you're good. You can throw it back in your bag, whatever you're going to do. What's next? So we're going to apply some pressure. Um, we, typically, you want this to steep for about one minute. Um, so you know, we've stirred it for 20 seconds already. Um, you want the coffee to kind of steep so that you get so you get a good sweet shot mm -hmm. of espresso. Um, so we're, we're going to kind of let that. Once you put the plunger in here, basically all you're doing, you can see it already coming down there in the bottom, is just apply pressure and push. You'll get down where you'll run out of, hear that air? That means it's done. There you go. And that. That's a shot of espresso. It is. That's one single serving of espresso. You look at that and mm -hmm. take a whiff. Mmm, that smells so good. So that that's how with the AeroPress, it's that simple to make a really good solid espresso. This blend, uh, this Trailblazer roasting blend yeah. that they they wrote that uh, Rusty put up together for us yesterday. I think it's something about an Ethiopian. Yes, Ethiopian is in Guatemala and are really their their standard um, you know coffee uh, blends or coffee uh, coffees that they sell. Yes. Um, so this had one part medium dark Ethiopian. Uh -huh. Uh, two, the have one part medium Guatemalan, gotcha, and it had uh, one part dark Honduran. Oh, nice! So that's what they used the three different coffees to make one blend to make this um, a good espresso blend. Well, this so so basically what we have there, um, real cleanly is 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 an espresso shot. Yep. You can drink it just like that. We do all the time. We do. But if you are more into the regular standard coffee, 
Well, we warmed up our water in the kettle here, the electric kettle, we warmed it up to 212 degrees. Mm -hmm. And since we've made the coffee, the, 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 the water in the kettle has began to cool back down. Now we should have water somewhere in the 200 degrees. And you can just add, uh, another, you know, basically add fill you up want. your cup here. And that's... And now you've got an Americano. You do. Which is basically like a regular cup of coffee. This is more the traditional American coffee, um, opposed to uh, the way that it's 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 you know drinking uh, as an espresso. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this is you know if you want sugar, add sugar. Um, that's what you've got. You got your half you and half, whatever. Go got for a it. fantastic cup of coffee there. That is a good cup of coffee. So. Talk a little bit again uh, about, we got the AeroPress. We bought this little uh, thing we, Stand. this thing we use that we put the AeroPress in and stuff when we travel. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we're home, it just and sits it on the, on the coffee counter. counter. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, we've got the stand. We've got, uh, again, these everywhere Carter mugs. Yeah, we're not taking our, our glass mugs on the road. No, no, you don't take the glass out. We just wanted y'all to see the coffee. Yeah, so the everywhere Carter mugs are, are what we use in the van, and they're fantastic, guys. Um, we'll, put, we'll put links to all of this stuff down again in the description. Now we're to the point where, you know, hey, you might like a little... Uh, Sometimes we like to get fancy You like coffee. some milk in your coffee? Yeah. You like it fancy? Because there's not Starbucks in the woods. No, no Starbucks. You want to make a mocha, you want to make a flat white, oh, you want to make whatever. So we have this, this, this Nespresso uh, unit this right here. This gadget. What the it's heck the does barista. that do? It is. And you, you can program in all kind of different... Uh, you like see it, it connects to your phone. Like this thing is smarter than I am. Like I, you know... We've it, got it a program to flat white right now, and basically all I'm going to do is uh, pour in some milk here to the lines. There's some lines inside of it that I'm looking at. Um, in the meantime, we need to empty out the the Prisma or the, yes, pull the, let's unscrew the bottom and let's oh, take okay. that. We'll just show show them what the coffee looks like there in the bottom, and then we'll dump it out on that plate, and we'll start Perfect. over. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Yep. Look at that. We've got our push, little... You pulled the plunger up. Pull the plunger down. Push really the plunger do. down, and it'll just pop right out there. There. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Done. Easy. So... You know, if you if you uh, have flower beds or um, your garden, your gardener, um, you can put this stuff in your garden, and your plants are really gonna like it. This uh, just you know spent coffee grounds. Uh, we did a, a a course, a medium course grind um, on this, and basically really really good brings really good coffee. All right, so let me guess. We put this thing back on there. Putting that back on there. We're going to pull out the plunger. Awesome. I've got it. I've got it. Look at that. Just Very set it good. up here on this cup right here. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to turn this milk on. So we've got to set the flat white. Just pour it in the milk. Just going to push start. That's going to begin heating and spinning that water. Now I'm adding another scoop here, right? Yeah, just a rounded scoop there. You got there it. There we go. And again, we want to pull up the AeroPress, tap it, shake it, get that coffee to lay in there flat before we pour the water over it. Yeah, you're a normal barista, so you have to tell me what to do. Okay. We've got our water. Our water is now to 212 degrees. So it's ready to go. It's ready to go. You want to just pour it to number one there. Just kind of a steady pour across the coffee. There we go. Water's there not going go. anywhere. And then we... Stir for 20 seconds. Give it a stir. Let's give it a good stir. Um, you cannot stir too much at this point in time. The more stirring action, the sweeter that, that espresso and that coffee is going to come out. Uh, you're going to really get it, the nodes and the, the sweet taste. Super excited. About the flat white coming up. Milk is, uh, is spinning and, and getting good and foamy and, and warm. Yeah, what's happening in there? So this little uh, coffee canister here, it's got a, uh, a vacuum. You hear I just pushed that. There's a little yeah, button we normally here coffee in there. that basically will uh, turn green when it's when it's sealed. But this, you just store your coffee in. It could be your beans uh, or it could be ground coffee like, like we do. We grind our coffee before we go out on the road. But basically, you just put this lid on 
and then you twist it back and forth. And this is vacuum sealing the, the canister. So it's pulling the air out of it and vacuum sealing it. And you just twist, 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 twist. The more coffee that's in it, um, the quicker that it, it does this process. Now that looks super modern and cool too. We got that from the fellows as well, right? This came the from fellows. fellows and we'll put a link to this in the description below as well. Um, again, now it's, it's vacuum sealed. If I want to break the seal, I just push in this button. You can hear that air pop out. And it stays super fresh. And boom, there it is. So that's something that we use while we're on the road. Oh my gosh, I think this thing's ready for liftoff. It is definitely doing its business. Okay, so now I've given this a stir. Yep. It's ready. We're going to give it about a minute. I All mean, right. you know, you've, you've stirred for 20 plus seconds. So give it another few few seconds. Okay. Um, or we can just, you know, for the sake of the video, we will go ahead and press it out now. All right. Yeah, let's see how hard this just is. Just give it some pressure. Oh, oh, that's super easy. Yep, you just apply a little bit of a pressure to it and it's already gonna start coming out there. Gets a little harder when there's less liquid and you've got yeah, the coffee. Yeah, so it does. You'll start getting So it the, does. There it goes. There we go. There's that pressure that you want for, uh, from an espresso machine. Any good of espresso machine is gonna have that last burst of pressure. All right. So we're done with that. We'll set the aero press over that. here. Mm, it smells so good. Our milk is just about done for, for our flat white. Almost. Guys, if you guys uh, tell us what coffee uh, yeah, what equipment that you use. What do you do to make coffee? Whether you are out camping or, or traveling or, or when you're at home, uh, we'd love to know. You guys check out Trailblazers Roasters, uh, Small They're Talk home. Arkansas. Guys, they're local. Mm -hmm. um, you want to shop local, especially during this Corona, uh, help out your local business owners. And They're and on Instagram and they've got coffee for sale. I think that maybe they were talking about monthly a, stuff. A bag of coffee uh, from them is about $13. Yeah. So it's a, it's a really good value for a really good coffee. Um, they've got single origin. They've got some uh, blends. They've even got some flavored stuff of blueberry cinnamon so yeah, we heard something about that That's check really out good. the trailblazer roasting and uh you know uh you, you buy some local coffee guys um other than that the everywhere uh carter mugs fantastic the prismo does sit or uh, the aeropress sits perfectly on these so when we're out and about we're, we're traveling we we again we use these mugs um, they're amazing. Make an Americano with an espresso shot. Now we're going to make a flat white with an espresso shot. I like to double up, so I like to have two shots of, of espresso for, for anything that I'm making. Mm -hmm. um, I, sometimes I get a little crazy. I, I might go three. So um, how do you like your coffee? What do you like to do with it? We should have started that earlier. Yeah, we should have. Normally but, it doesn't take that long. Well, it was cold milk. It was oh, cold gotcha. milk. And normally our milk is sitting out uh, for a second. We'll leave it out while we're on the making, well, doing well, breakfast and everything else. Yes, but so. if you guys have got a question on any of this stuff or, or tell us what it is that you do, uh, we really like this fellow product. Um, they've got a line of, of kettles, oh my gosh, grinders, stuff is so cool. all kind of things. But man, they, they're really a uh, cool company. They're out of San Francisco. Uh, pretty cool company that, that we really enjoy. And then this AeroPress, it doesn't get simpler. It really uh, does. For, for making a good shot of espresso. You can see the creme a little bit on top of this. Um, it's settled a little bit already, but um, there's a good line of creme around the edge and in just a second we're going to pour on some foam and hot milk on there and that's going to be ready to go for a flat white yes it is it's like a coffee shop to uh, go i'm going to actually uh sample go sample this Please americana and we'll leave do. you the yeah the flat white there. all right oh oh does that mean it's done i think that means it's done and that is good how's right your there. americano over there that is good? that's good good we're good all to right. go pop and the lid done get it Pull this, this out. This little dude comes out. Yep. And then, here, I'm gonna put that right there. Go ahead. And I'm gonna hold, there's a little plunger thing in here, and that's what makes all the magic happen. So I'm just gonna hold that and just pour. Down with that foam. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there. Patience, grasshopper. And then, oh, look at that. And if I were fancy and could do latte art, you know, this would be the moment, but I'm not. Yeah. So. Not artistic at all. <laughs> Just with makeup. 
Got some milk there, um, got some foam on top. Right there, you've got a delicious, delicious flat white. Why don't you give yep. that a sample? Oh, I'm this, this coffee, this, this oh. blend that they've made is, is really good. Oh, snap. That's yeah. good stuff. It is really good stuff. So guys, in the van, van life, this is how we do it. Um, we do it like this at home as well on, on a good uh, portion of the day. You know, mm -hmm. these things realistically, again, you want a you want a cafe level quality coffee that you can make at home. Because um, we can't do those little coffee tea bag things again. Yeah, that was bad. No coffee tea bags. That you really you want bad. a good good cup of coffee. I mean, without you know French press, a lot of folks use French press. And um, that works too. French press is a good deal. Um, I prefer the espresso. Um, drink a lot of, of flat whites. Um, that that's really my cup of choice um, so you know right again um, you know this kettle we spent 36 bucks on it it's a little big for us to be traveling with but we already owned it because we, we may use it to make hot teas and things like that so mm -hmm. so we put it in the van not a problem this is 36 dollars on amazon and it does it's one of the few ones that actually does go up to 212 degrees i like how it has the different temperatures so for teas for different teas like your white tea and your herbal teas you want them to all be a different temperature as well so it works for all of that. So this is a good one. Um, it's uh, it's Icock, I believe, is how you pronounce the brand. Uh, but we'll put a link for that in the description. The AeroPress Espresso uh, Maker. Again, I mean, you get this little item for thirty bucks, and it comes with these and the the spoons and the stirrers. Everything you need to get comes started. With everything you need with it to, to get started to make a, a cup of espresso. All you need is add coffee, add hot water. Um, after that, the fellow Prismo, the little attachment that, that we use that has the extra power, uh, the extra super power for your yes. AeroPress, that's $25 uh, on fellow, and we'll put a link for that. Um, the Carter Everywhere mugs, they've got these now in some limited colors. You can get them in some yeah, we heard about that. colors. Yeah. They come in yellow, they've got them in white, they've got them in black, okay. they've got them in blue, they've got them in all different all colors right colors. now. Um, some some very limited uh, models and so um, the, these guys I highly recommend them they're extremely durable um, they're dishwasher safe um, you can again if you're, you're backpacking out and about they come with these little bags that are that are very cool um, they start at thirty dollars this uh, Atmos vacuum canister again to keep your stuff uh, vacuum pressured um, those start at thirty dollars on fellow as well um, this organizer that we purchased, it's a bamboo organizer. Uh, it was made exactly for the AeroPress. So it's got the little attachments on the side for the stirrer and the Stop. cup. You can put mugs in here. You can set your mugs up on top. Um, the other items will slide in there. Um, that's $40 on, on Amazon. Um, now, the, the, the no, splurge the, of the day. Yeah, what we spent the most money on, by all means, is this, the espresso barista. It's totally not necessary. You can get basically any. Oh. Uh, Nespresso makes an Aerochino. There's a lot of other and frothing a lot of machines. That so you can, get. you can get, you can go down in uh, money spent on this dramatically. This is $169 on Nespresso, and it can do. But Hot coffees, everything. cold coffees, it can do all kind of things. Um, the, the, the menu's already pre-programmed in here. And then you can add more so to your phone. Then from the app, you can go in and change the menus that you want, but you can see there as it changes on the front, um, all the things that we've got pro programmed into it. Um, so it can do, oh, we are starting another. <laughs> Um, and then guys, don't forget trailblazing, uh, trailblazer roasting. Yeah. Uh, those guys, trailblazerroasting.com. Um, they're on Instagram at trailblazer.roasting.co and, uh, Facebook at trailblazer roasting. Uh, and I'll put all of those links in the description today. They're Tell us how new. you like your coffee guys. Yes. Check out trailblazer roasting there. You'll enjoy it. I promise. Yes. And if you've got any tips for us, we'd love to hear it. Love to hear it. We'll be back again soon. Uh, we've got, like I said, we've got some video footage of some of our uh, recent uh, runs. 
The van is actually getting some mods put on it right now. It is. We're getting it's gonna be amazing. Some bumpers, some swing away rear bumpers, a new bumper from Backwoods. Those types of things are going on right now. And we'll uh, talk about that so once we get it back. We'll have it back soon. But thanks for joining us today. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Like us. Hit the like button, please. And share it. Tell us, tell your friends about us. We appreciate it very much. We thanks did. for being here. See y'all later. Bye. Thanks for shooting the shit with us.